going to try this buffalo chicken uh, pot pie by Alpha Foods for you guys. So we're going to try it. I want to make it today because it's about to expire soon and it's been in my freezer for like two or three months. So yeah, we're going to give us a try for you today. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Daddy, should we place it? Excuse the dirty kitchen <laughs> and my messy hair. We went to the park and I wore my hat and so my hair is a mess now. Where's the... But I'm going to taste this for you too because I wanted to give this a taste. And then Logan and Luis will taste it as well. It's really... It's really hot right now though. I just took it out of the oven. So it's a buffalo, whatever. And I just made um, broccoli buffalo wings last night for the first time. And they turned out really good, but really spicy. And I couldn't, well, I did eat them, but I shouldn't have eaten them because they were super spicy. <laughs> My stomach's hurting a little bit today. It's probably why. But anyway, let's give this a try. The crust is really flaky, which I like. It's only mildly spicy. It actually doesn't have a lot of flavor, but the crust is nice. But I did cook it. I didn't cook it following the package directions. It says to cook it at 400 degrees, but we were making Guardian Crispy Tenders and Tater Tots and onion rings and everything together. So I cooked it on 450 for 35 minutes. So that's probably why the crust is so flaky. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take another bite. Compared to the Alpha Foods pizza burrito and the other one, I don't remember what it was, but I tried one of the other ones. I didn't like those ones at all. This one's better. The seitan tastes a little bit smoky, which I kind of like. I think I'd give it a seven out of 10. It's pretty good. I just needed to get it more you know take another bite to get more of the flavor so yeah i'd give it a seven out of ten let's have uh luis and logan try it now here babe come taste this one mm, i agree it's a little flaky but i like that though. i like that that's what i'm saying i like the flakiness what about the flavor what is it supposed to be it's supposed to be buffalo chicken it's not it's a little bit tastes like it a little bit to me it's no, not it it's not overpowering like that's for sure what? I'm trying to pinpoint it. Here, Logan, come here. Um, yeah. It's hot. Yeah, a little bit hot. Okay, well, suck in some air. <laughs> Just don't choke. So you can see kind of the cheesy cheese and uh, sauce in here. I'm sure the sauce got dried out because I cooked it at too high of a temperature. It's probably the buffalo flavor. It doesn't exactly taste like a buffalo. It kind of tastes like something else. Do you know what buffalo wings taste like? Yeah. I think it might be because I overcooked it. Because the sauce is all dried out from me overcooking it. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's good. It's just... I not the best. It's, it's not as advertised. I don't taste anything buffalo. True. Again, could be my fault because I Logan. overcooked Logan. it. But um, you can also add extra Logan. extra buffalo sauce on top of it if you wanted to. The, the flakiness and everything is really good. The seitan tastes good. So I think if you just added a little bit of extra sauce on it, you'd be good to go. But I don't really like the buffalo sauce. It's too spicy for me. So one out of 10, what would you give it? Um, I, I, I'll, I'll agree with you. A seven out of 10 is good. Seven out of 10? You sure? Uh -huh. Okay. Hey you guys, I was just about to edit the video for you guys about the buffalo chicken uh, pot pie thing that we tried last night and I just wanted to let you know, know that I had eaten the second one uh, that we had, I had made two and the second one uh, somehow didn't get as cooked through as the one we tried and it was more cheesy and had more sauce still in it and it was actually really good. So I just wanted to let you know that I did bump up my rating to like an eight because <laughs> I thought it was actually really tasty and I would buy it again. And I think the seitan in it is really tasty like sometimes seitan has a really weird aftertaste or it just has a strange sometimes they the prepaid pre-made ones on the store you get have like a weird taste to them and um this one had just had a really nice smoky flavor to it and i really liked it 
and um, yeah, with the sauce and the cheese not all dried out from me overcooking it, it was actually really good. So I bumped it up to a, an eight rating. The reason I'm giving it an eight and not like a nine or a 10 is because it's kind of a really small, you know, really small prepackaged meal thing. Um, and it's not like super filling or anything. It's not like, I don't know. It's not like a full meal. Like you would eat it and you would probably still be hungry afterwards. After you know, I think most people would still be hungry after eating one because they're not very big. And so, I don't know, for me, it's hard for me to give a 9 or a 10 rating to something that's like a prepackaged food that's not like a complete meal, you know what I mean? I don't know. For me, it's hard for me to give something like a 9 or a 10. It has to be like super duper amazing for it to be like a 9 or a 10, but, but I do want to say this was really good and I'll definitely buy it again. And if you guys um, like buffalo chicken flavored things, I'm sure you would probably like this. So let me know if you're gonna give it a try and let us know in the comments if you tried any of their other products and if you liked them, which ones did you like? Cause I've tried the pizza burrito and the chicken fajita burrito. Did not like either one of those. I've seen that they have like some kind of pesto pot pie and I think they have a couple other ones, but I can't remember what flavors they are, but I will definitely try those now since I really liked this one. And yeah, so anyway, let us know which ones you liked or if you haven't tried any of them yet, if you plan to. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to let you know that I changed my rating. So yeah, I think it's good. I liked it. <laughs> so anyway, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe, give us a thumbs up. And thanks for watching my little broccoli bites. We'll catch you in the next video.